Good morning everybody, Charlie here with Red Summit RF. Well, welcome back to another Summits on the Air activation. I am continuing uh, experimenting a little bit with the Zygu X6100. If you recall from my last uh, video where I took that up on a mountain, we had a little bit of overheating, actually a lot of overheating, but uh, that may have been due to uh, being on direct sunlight. So today I got up really early and uh, the sun is just now coming up over the mountains and uh, so it's just sunrise right now. I should be on the summit well before the, uh, the sun gets uh, up high. I'll uh, again protect the radio from, from sun exposure and the temperatures will be low so we'll see if it'll be a, a repeat uh, experience or not. We'll also uh, talk a little bit about some other things uh, on the radio, the filtering for example. And we'll just uh, do an activation and, and see how it goes, see what else we can, uh, we can uh, figure out on the radio and if there's anything new to, to explain or to uh, report. Uh, you'll see right over here we have a uh, hot air balloon. And so we'll uh, probably get a little closer to that. <clears throat> but I'm uh, heading up the trail now and so we'll check in as we go. We may not be able to catch up with that air, hot air balloon is descending over the mountain there. We've got a nice breeze today, that's nice. Here's the uh, hot air balloons out that way. There's more than one. That's our destination. I went ahead and put my sun protection on. It's not hot, but I don't want to get sunburned. Here we have those balloons. North of Phoenix area. All right, guys, I'm going to set up uh, same as last time. I'll put the uh, uh, Pactena uh, carbon fiber mast up, probably tie it to, to this, I suppose. And then again, I'll use the homebrew random wire uh, into the uh, Zygu 6100. We'll make sure we get some shade going on and and uh, cover up the radio and see if we can reproduce that problem. Hopefully we don't. Hopefully that was just the, too much sun up on the hill last time. Okay guys, if you can see this, I'm not sure you can, but here's the birdies, watch this. It's not somebody tuning up, it just keeps going.
CQ, 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 CQ Soda, CQ Soda, November Juliet 7, Victor, calling CQ. Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel. Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel, hey there, Josh, how you doing? Yeah, pretty good, Charlie, which radio are you using today? It's still the uh, Zygu X6100. Okay, sounds pretty good, you're about, um, about a 5-6 here in Seattle this morning. Okay, yeah, thank you for the 5-6. You're, you're about a 5-6 about a as well. Thanks. All right, have fun. We'll get you next time, 73. Okay, Josh, thank you, 73. CQ, 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 CQ. Summit's on the air. November Juliet, 7, Victor, QRZ. Hey, everybody, all right. I am going to wrap it up here. So uh, the good news is that this time the radio didn't overheat. And what I did was I operated on CW with the internal battery and it uh, got just slightly warm, not even nothing. I mean, most radios probably would do the same thing. So not a concern there. Um, but then I switched over to um, the in external battery. And uh, I know that there, there was a comment or two in, in the last video about how uh, they thought maybe they, they wanted me to make sure or confirm that uh, I didn't have the charge set uh, and I'll show a picture of what I mean but in the in the general settings you have to change your uh, setting from charge to, uh, to change it from off from on to off and make sure that it's off when you're uh, using the external battery and I did and I, and I know I did on the last activation too but I, I actually confirmed it a couple of times here and when I was using the external battery, the radio did heat up more than usual. It wasn't like the last summit I was on where I couldn't even touch it, but uh, the backside of it was warmer than usual. So um, I wouldn't necessarily say this is overheating. It just gets a little warm. And I think that the last time I was, it was just too much sun exposure. I just had, the, had it out in the sun because I'm in the shade right now. And, and, uh, and so that's probably the difference here. Uh, the, the other thing I really like and that is the filtering. Uh, I didn't really film any of that but because uh, filtering is pretty simple. You just go into the menu and you, and you add the filters. And uh, I don't really do anything too complex with filtering. It's either on or it's off. Uh, they have three different uh, filtering bandwidths and, and I, just, uh, I just went with uh, one of them and, and it was fine. Um, but it is nice to have that that comes with the radio already. You don't have to... Uh, add that like we did uh, like I did with the FT817 so uh, in review again uh, some of the really good things I like about it is the internal tuner the internal battery and the uh, built-in filters all really great to, and the price is good too those are all really good things that uh, um, I think would encourage somebody to, to purchase the radio some of the, uh, the downsides I still stand by them and uh, you know it'll, you'll have to make your decision whether those uh, those uh, downsides that I listed in the last video uh, are something that would be a deal breaker for you so I'm gonna do one more video with this uh, with this uh, radio and then send it on to uh, the guy in Utah but uh, I think that uh, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to understanding uh, how I feel about this radio and, and uh, with one more activation I think I should have a, a pretty solid list of positives and negatives. Uh, so I uh, hope you uh, come on back and, and check it out. I uh, appreciate you joining me for this video. Uh, thank you for visiting my channel. Please come on back and visit again and I'll say 73 to you. Bye bye.